Welcome to the first video in a series I'm producing for certification prep for the Snowflake Snow Pro Core Exam. My name is Joyce Avila and I earned my Snow Pro Core certification in April 2020 after two tries. I decided to work on earning the Snow Pro Core certification because the more I learned about Snowflake, the more I was convinced that it was a worthwhile investment of my time to study Snowflake. Last year, Snowflake was ranked number one on LinkedIn's list of top startups and was ranked number two on the Forbes Best Cloud 100 list. And the fact that Salesforce has invested heavily in Snowflake was all the more reason why I decided to pursue a Snowflake certification. I mentioned that it took me two tries to pass the exam, and my hope is that I can share some information and tips so that you can pass on the first try. The Snow Pro Core exam is 100 questions long and costs $175 for the first and every subsequent try. Passing rate is 80% and the retake exam had a few of the same questions from the first exam, but many of the questions were new and different. I actually thought the exam on the second try was harder than the first exam. So it is really to your advantage to pass it on the first try. In addition to the paid courses offered by Snowflake, there are several official free resources to learn Snowflake. One thing though is that the training is not aligned with the exam topics and that was one of the stumbling blocks I faced. That is one reason I thought it would be helpful to create a video series around each of the exam topics that will summarize information that's presented in various places. While there are many paths to success, many different ways to study and pass the certification exam, I'm putting out here one path to success that I would recommend. Step one is to use the free Snowflake resources from Snowflake University. There are four series of trainings, level up series, customer onboarding, transformations, and advanced capabilities. After that, there's a hands-on essentials training where you can earn a badge by submitting your work to be graded. Note that you can get a free 30-day Snowflake trial account, so be sure to plan your lessons accordingly. Step two is my YouTube video series. These videos are not meant to replace the training from the first step, but rather they are quick videos to point out some of the most important information and to quickly summarize information. Finally, the last step would be to use the official Snowflake study guide, which has links to Snowflake documentation. I strongly recommend you read through the documentation and then after that, plan to take the official practice exam. The practice exam will give you an idea of the format and the type of questions you can expect. You'll notice that there are many true-false questions and several select all that apply questions. Best of luck to you. I hope this introduction video and the upcoming topic videos help you prepare for the Snowflake Snow Pro Core certification exam. Be sure to reach out to me on Twitter or LinkedIn and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much.